how to naturally dye dark colours using iron. Today I'm going to show you some simple steps to achieve dark colours with natural dyes. Dark colours tend to be thought of as hard to achieve but it's actually super simple and you don't need any special dyes. You can often get nice dark colours with simple kitchen scraps. Hello, welcome to my channel Billy New. Uh, today I'm going to show you an easy way to make blacks and greys in your kitchen. So we have already done a video about making um, blacks and greys, but I just felt it was, might have been a little bit complicated or difficult to understand if you're a beginner, so I'm just going to show you a really easy way to do it today. But first, I'm really desperate to open these packages. I've been saving them since before Christmas to open them in a video. Um, I don't really know why, but I just wanted to do it that way and they're from the Marzi Natural Dyes and they've just started um, selling fabrics and they look so gorgeous so I'm really excited to open these today. I'm not sure what's in each parcel um, so yeah it's going to be a surprise and if there's some silk I might dye with those today um, when we're making blacks and greys so I'll open this one first because it's got the sticker on it. I think I've got some silk scarves and some kind of cotton which is like traditional cotton from Turkey. Ah, okay. Chile fabric, double layer. This is so exciting. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. I love it. Look at that. It's like so bouncy. That's going to be so gorgeous to dye with because the texture of the fabric is going to make the colours really stand out. I love it. So this is the, the muslin double layer and it's also really gorgeous. It's nice and thick. You can see there's two layers there. And I think when I wash this, it will go a little bit more textured. It's gorgeous as well. So these are some silk scarves. Oh my God. This looks incredible. This is a silk linen scarf and I think the silk is peace, peace silk as well so it's kind of ethical silk and this is just like I absolutely don't want to dye that because it's so pretty just that colour it's like silver oh my god it smells nice wow and this is a silk and cotton scarf which is gorgeous as well just really delicate could play that today maybe Boldan I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing pronouncing that correctly but it's another fabric from traditional fabric from Turkey I think this looks amazing as well. Oh. oh, this is gonna die so nicely. So it's cotton. All these three are cotton. This one, this one, and this one. And it's just totally gorgeous weight. Like really, like you can imagine it kind of being okay almost for winter, but for summer as well. Just really cozy, nice, but light weight to the fabric it's gorgeous absolutely cannot wait to dye those this is silk and wool which is like all these fabrics are just totally totally lush i'm in heaven in case you couldn't tell <laughs> really nice big thick well it's not thick but i mean thick as in the width scarf and that smells nice too so today I've decided to dye one of the silk scarves that the Mazi Natural Dyes sent me. Um, it's silk and cotton um, and I haven't more than tipped it. So um, 
but it should should have a nice result because of the silk anyway. Um, and then I've got some raw silk here, which I'm just going to do some samples with to show you how to take um, to dye the dark greys and blacks that I'm going to, trying to achieve today. So to get dark colours, it's quite easy. It's quite simple. You need to uh, choose a dye that's um, rich in tannin. And I think the higher the tannin content, the darker your fibre is going to end up in the end. Um, and the thing that makes um, the colours change to the dark greys or blacks or sometimes blues and sometimes even like um, purples if you're lucky is the iron powder. So I've got three things today that I'm going to use. I'm going to use tan skins, um, avocado skins and I'm going to use some brown gallnut powder which is also from the Marzi Natural dyes. Um, and this is really high in tannin so I should get a really nice dark colour from this. Um, sometimes you get kind of dark greys, blues with avocado skins and they kind of tend to be a bit more greeny, browny um, colours with um, the onion skins but we'll see. So yeah I'm going to have three pots on the go today and I'm going to have a few samples and we'll see what happens. So I'm put my onion skins in this pot my avocado skins in this pot. I haven't weighed any of these amounts, I'm just kind of doing it by eye and I've only got small samples so um, I shouldn't need too much. I'm just going to put I think two tablespoons of the oat gall powder in a bag. Actually it looks like it's kind of going through but just to try and not get bits everywhere. Um, yeah, I'm tying a bit more for luck. Voila. I'm going to do that up, pop that in the, the bottom of the pan and then fill them all with water. I'm just covering, well, covering the dye stuff. Not all the way to the top of the pan. Two of the onion skins. Oops. So I've got my three pots on there. I've got avocado skins, onion skins, and tannin powder. Um, the oat gall powder and I'm just going to go and soak my fibres and then in about an hour or so when the colours are uh, nice and rich in the pot I will come and put my fibres into the pot. So my pots have been simmering for about an hour and the colours are looking quite rich. This <coughs> is my onion skins. I'm not sure if you can really see that but it's like got a nice deep colour. Same with the avocado pits. Hey, uh, I'm going to hide this book. I'm going to hide this book. The tannin is kind of brown. Might add a bit of water to that actually. Give these a nice stir. We need to be extra careful. If you put your stool here next to this stool, just your stool, darling, so you can stand on it. I get the fabric. So we've got our silk here. Are you coming to help me? <laughs> Are you coming or not? You help me choose which pots to put the things in. So be careful because it's hot. So we need to squeeze out our silk fabric. Yeah. Yeah. And choose a piece. Yeah. You can choose that one. And squeeze it out. It's too long. That's it. Let's pull your sleeves up a little bit. 243. 
I'm going to, I'm going to put this, this is this 50% silk and 50% cotton. None of this has been more dented, so I'm hoping we're still going to get some good results. Can I put it in too? Ah, well, you could squeeze one of those out for me and then we can put that in the orange one. So I'm just going to pop this into the tannin. Make sure it all gets an even covering. I might put some more water in this in this pot. Give it a good stir. I'm it's stirring in the pot. it already. You're stirring it for me. Thank you. Taking some hot water in it so I can stir in it. Well, we're putting these in here now. So choose one. Let's choose a big one. For... I'm going to put that one in. Okay. It's on. Squeeze it out. It's on against. I'm going to have a pink knee. You've got a technique? Yeah, we just... Do you mean a technique? Yeah. Okay. We just have to squeeze that and put this food inside like it. Brilliant. Then, Is that the knack? Is that how we get beautiful colours? Yeah. I didn't know that. Thanks for showing me. Voila, I'm going to pop it in this one. Then we have to put some white flowers in. Then we have to put some white flowers in. So this is going in the avocado skins. Then you have to put some white flowers. Yeah. And then something to make it smell good, which it is. Oh, I've already got some of that, darling. So we're gonna, do you want to put this one in here? In the onion skins? Well, I only have to do it a tiny bit again. Do you want, do you want... We need to put this in two, two times, but only one time now. Okay. Would you like to put this in the onion skins? Yes. Watch it up, because it's hot. So dip it in this, this is the onion skins here. There we go. I'll push, push it down. Yeah, I only need to put Ooh, it nice and one orange. more time in those things. Hang on. Not now, darling, because I've already done that step. We need to so one more time gonna... in those things. I know, Mummy. I've got some... I only need to put it one more time in those things. Some silk and the silk scarf. Raw silk and the silk and cotton scarf in the tannin bath. Um, some silk in the avocado skins. And then some silk, this tiny extra piece in the onion skins. I'm just gonna like, oh Billy, Billy, leave that please. Give them a good stir, keep stirring them regularly for about um, an hour or so or until the colours are nice and saturated. This has gone orange already, you can see. And then we'll use the iron powder once we've got the nice colours and see what happens, see what shades they go. I'm going to put one each. What's that? The one then pop it in. I will make it even beautifuler. Okay, chuck it. The anglais français, my monkey parle en anglais et moi je parle en français. Bonne de pente, même c'est trop bien. Elle en a des pique-niques de connaître des accordailles. Et de faire tous ces pique-niques-là, et de prendre tous les trucs de les plantes qui sont morts, et, et de les prendre et de donner à maman, et, de, et on les met dans les pots. C'est ça qui est une folle, et moi, la petite Ready? Ok, moi. Ça, je veux dire, c'est colors here. Um, my pots have been steaming away for about an hour. Oh, it's hot, be careful. So that's from the onion skins, that's gone really rich. This is why I love onion skins, they're just, I always get really nice colors from them. I'm going to take my fibers out of the pots. Just remember these are really hot, so be careful. Avocado. Yeah, I haven't really let these cool down. Normally I'd normally I'd give them a little bit longer actually, but we're doing a video today, so I'm brushing a little bit. You can see the nice different colours. Sorry, darling. You need more flour to make more mess. Okay. Oh my goodness, what is happening here? So this has got the silk scarf and it's not a piece of silk in it. And actually, the cotton bag that I used to put the tannin powder in has gone a really nice... In fact, I'll take it out. A really nice kind of 
browny colour. Let's see, it's gone quite dark. Okay. So I'm going to take my fibres and give them a little rinse. Just a quick rinse. Normally I'd let these dry probably before I do this and then wet them out again. But I'm just... Oh. So so Billy, Billy was adding some extra bits as well, so it's helpful. So I've got three colours there. I'll show you in the light now. So I've got three colours here, all from kind of different, quite tannin-rich dyes, um, and one just, just tannin powder from the oak galls. And now I'm going to prepare a bucket with some iron water. I'm going to dissolve some ferrous sulfate powder in a bucket of water, and then I'm going to dip these in and see what happens to the colours. And we should get some greys, maybe some dark greys, brownie colour with that. I'm not sure. We'll have a look. So I've had a couple of questions in our other video about dyeing um, dark colours, about why I have a separate pot for using iron powder. And the reason is because it's really strong and a tiny bit of iron can change um, the colours of your of your fibres. So if you get a tiny bit by mistake in, in a different pot, it could affect the colours. So that's why I try and keep it separate from my other pots. And this isn't really a pot, this is just a bucket for changing the colours. So I've got my iron powder separately in a separate jar and a plastic bag. And I'm just going to put you don't really need much, probably about a teaspoon. I've got a tablespoon, but I'm only going to put a little bit in. So you can see the... I've actually put a wet spoon in my iron, which was probably a mistake, but it's nearly finished there. So you can see it's even... Those tiny little bits there are starting to go a really dark colour with the moisture. And that's kind of what happens with, with the fibres. OK, I'm going to put water in this bucket now. So I've got my spoon. And you might want to wear gloves when you're doing this as well. Okay, so I'm just going to... I feel like it's a bit of a shame to put this in the iron water because it's such a beautiful orangey colour. You can see the colours are already changing. Anyway, pop it in. Seeing as it is a video about making greys and blacks. This is the avocado piece of silk avocado skins which made a really nice peach colour and then into the iron water I'll start to go a grey colour ah with silk it's kind of important not to use too much iron because it can make the fibres go quite brittle it takes a while for it to change sometimes. Look, it's going dark brown now. And then I've got the tannin. And I'm just going to keep stirring. So at the moment this is a pale kind of yellow colour from the tannin and then the you can see it going grey almost instantly there. So you can see we've got three different tones there. They're all really beautiful. Um, I'm not going to leave it in for too long um, because it's silk. So I'm going to take it back over to my sink and give them a real good rinse. Um, 
this has gone so gorgeous, the tannin and the silk and cotton. It's like almost blue. They will dry lighter these colours, so they look quite dark now in the in the in the pot, but they will dry lighter. And look, that's the onion skin. Okay, I'm gonna give these a rinse now. So I'm just rinsing these oops these pieces of silk it's going quite dark now so you probably can't really see too well but I'll rinse them and then I'll hold them up so you can see them so these are the results um they are they are still wet so they will dry lighter and I'll probably once they're dry I'll give them an iron and then a, a hand wash them with some pH neutral soap but this one's come out amazing this was the onion skins and I did put quite a lot of onion skins in there just for dyeing this tiny piece of fabric. So the concentrate of dye was very high. So that could be why it's turned out so well. It's like a brown black color. The tannin's also really nice. It's more bluey, kind of a bluey gray. And this silk scarf is just, well, silk and cotton, but it's just gorgeous. It's, it's quite a light scarf, so it's gonna dry really pretty I think and then the avocado is kind of a this one's gone a bit kind of um, patchy so I'm not sure why that happened but it did it's still pretty I've got blue kind of blue colors and tones again blues and grays there we go as usual I got some surprising results today I thought the tannin powder sample would have the blackest results, but it was in fact the onion skin sample who surprised me today. Just making sure it stays up there as my favorite kitchen dye. Please like, comment and subscribe. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to write in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Um, and if you want to check out any more of my dye adventures, just head over to Instagram at Billy New Apparel and check out our website, billynew.com.